Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do sublimation on dark cotton t-shirts using HTV Rond Sublimation HTV for Dark Fabrics. HTV Rond Sublimation HTV for Dark Fabrics comes in matte and glossy finish. I will show you both so you can choose the one that best suits your needs. And for this project, we're going to be using a printer with sublimation ink. I'm going to be using my Epson Echo Tank ET15000 that I have converted into a sublimation printer. If you would like to learn how to convert an Epson Echo Tank printer into a sublimation printer, I invite you to look for my tutorials on my channel. Remember to use sublimation ink only. Sublimation paper. Heat resistant tape, butcher paper or teflon layers, a t-shirt ruler if you wish, and to cut the sublimation HTV we're going to need a cutter machine. I'm going to be using my Locklick Crafter. To press the sublimation HTV and design we're going to need a heat press. I'm going to be using my HTV Run Auto Press and dark cotton t-shirts. I got these ones from blankstyle.com. I'm going to link all of the supplies used in this tutorial in the video description below. I'm going to start working with the design, but before I would like to invite you to please support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. And this is the design that I'm going to be using. If you like the free designs that I'm going to be using in this tutorial, I invite you to download them from my blog. I'm going to link them in the video description below. Since this design is a little big, I'm going to print it from Inkscape. Otherwise, I will print it straight from Locklick Creative Studio. I will cut the design using scissors, but I will use my lock click machine to cut the HTV. We're going to start by resizing the design. I'm going to place the design outside the canvas so you can see it. Now I'm going to select it and resize it to 9 by 7.75 inches. We will have to remember these measurements because we will use these exact measurements when cutting the HTV later. I'm going to place the design in the canvas again and I'm going to print it. Go to File, Print, select your sublimation printer, go to More Options, make sure it's on letter size or the size you need to print. I'm going to click on landscape. On paper type, I'm going to select premium presentation paper mat. On quality, I'm going to select high. Then I'm going to go to more options. In here is very important to select mirror mode. Click OK, then print. Like I mentioned before, to print my sublimation designs, I am using my Epson Echo Tank ET15000 with sublimation ink. Now let's go to the Lockley Creative Studio. Their measurements are on millimeters, but I'm going to change it to inches. Double click and select inches. Now click on import. Open the folder where you have the design, the same design that we printed from Inkscape. Select it and click on group. Erase the watermark. And we're going to resize it to 9 by 7.75 inches. The same measurements as the printed design. You can resize it using the dots around the image or you can also resize it by typing the exact measurement on the right. Now that you have it to the right measurement, I'm going to remove the color design on top and I'm just going to leave the background. 
this one is an SVG design. Remember, you can download it from my blog. I'm going to change the color so you can see it. And there it is. If your design doesn't have a background or a border, you can use the offset feature to create this background. Now select the design and we're going to click on flip. It needs to be cut on mirror mode. Now we're going to cut it. Now click on connect device. And if your machine is not connected, let's connect it first. Either USB or Bluetooth. Turn on the lock click machine before doing this process. Select the layer that you need to cut then we're going to select the material we're going to select basic htv then click on cut now place the htv run sublimation htv for dark fabrics on the cutting mat i'm going to be using the purple mat but you can also use the green mat remember to place the glossy part facing the mat this one is the matte finish, but remember it comes in matte and glossy finish. Place the material on the machine, then we're going to click start. This machine is super fast and super quiet compared to the Cricut machine. Now I'm going to weed the material. Next, we're going to prepare the t-shirt. I'm going to press it for 10 seconds to remove the wrinkles. Remember to put a piece of butcher paper on top. Next, you can clean it using a lint roller. Now, we're going to align the sublimation HTV. I'm going to use my t-shirt ruler. Then I'm going to press it for 8 seconds at 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Only 8 seconds. And remember to place a piece of butcher paper on top. Now remove the transparent film and we're going to align the design. If you wish to cut it using the lock click machine, remember to print the design from the lock click studio. Align the design and secure it using heat resistant tape. Then place a piece of butcher paper on top and press it for 50 seconds at 390 degrees Fahrenheit. To press the HTV and the design, I am using my HTV rond out of press. Now let's reveal the design. It's beautiful, I love it. This one is being sublimated on top of a matte finish sublimation HTV. I think this is a great option to sublimate on dark cotton t-shirts. I'm going to link the HTV run sublimation HTV in the video description below. So now this one has been sublimated on glossy finish. So you can see the difference. They both look beautiful, but I have noticed that the sublimation in the glossy finish look more vivid and brighter than in the matte one. Overall, I'm very happy with the result. I think HTV Rond sublimation HTV for dark fabrics is a good option to sublimate on dark cotton t-shirts and is very easy to use. I'm going to link them in the video description below. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on how to do sublimation on dark cotton t-shirts and please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.